In the name of the French Republic, Chief Prosecutor Francois de Monton closes counts three and four, the final charges of the indictment. All the defendants committed crimes against humanity, including the murder and persecution of all people opposed to the Nazi party and the enslavement, exploitation and deportation of civilian populations. The slave labor policy was the responsibility of defendant Saukel, who admitted in 1944, of the five million workers who arrived in Germany, fewer than 200,000 came voluntarily. Forced labor often meant brutal and degrading treatment. As Saukel himself suggested, all these people must be fed, lodged, and treated so as to get the greatest possible use out of them at the lowest possible cost. And in the words of defendant Martin Bormann, being tried in absentia, the Slavs should work for us. When we no longer need them, let them die. Slavery was only one aspect of Nazi exploitation. Defendant Goering, in a talk with German occupation authorities in 1942, discussed another, plunder. God knows you are not sent out to safeguard the welfare of the people under your supervision, but rather to get the most out of them, so that the German people can survive. This incessant worry about other people must stop once and for all. I have in front of me reports on what you must deliver. It makes absolutely no difference to me if you say that your people will starve. But Nazi crimes against humanity were not limited to foreign peoples. Defendant Frick, as Minister of Interior, directed a program aimed at aged, insane, or incurable Germans, the so-called useless eaters. Thousands were committed to special institutions. Few ever returned. Evidence proves they were murdered because they were useless to the plans of the Nazi conspirators. <laughs> 